welcome purpose of this video is to demonstrate auto regressive integrated moving average models identification estimation unit root testing and how to simulate ar ma models using r so for this uh, you need to um, uh, watch couple of my previous lectures at the moment I am going to describe it empirically so that you have better understanding due to this coronavirus we may have to proceed for this maybe for next whole month or maybe two months so therefore please keep on watching uh, do these exercises uh, at your own if you have any question you can put me question on YouTube link you can uh, send me voice message on whatsapp you can send me through email so let's move so first of all we have library read excel so that if you want to read any data you must have this installed in your system library dplyr that i have explained in my videos on installing r and libraries at the moment i am using library fpp2 and fpp3 uh, you can hide main book on econometric forecasting uh, uh, forecasting for economics and business you can download we have been following uh, this uh, this book for last one month but due to disruption in classes we are going to use it here so first of all I am using applied econometrics time series Walter Enders chapter 2 data seems to data so seems to data if I read library 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 and seems to data so what is in this data for this I have explained you have a glimpse command to find out what is in this data so we have glimpse we have under observations four variables first variable is observations the other three variables are y1 y2 y3 this is simulated data provided by Walter Enders in his book uh, the, and on his site as well you can see enders.net for this data okay now we need to find out uh, okay we just select y1 to, so aapke paas seems to and then we use uh, this pipe operator select y1 so in this y1 we have only data on y1 you can calculate acf pacf by directly writing acf of y1 but at the moment i am using gg acf grammar of graphics I, I am using here uh, ggplot library so I am storing it in A1 in A1 okay and I am storing partial autocorrelation function of Y1 in A2 in P1 I am using this library grid extra if you don't have this one install dot packages and put here inverted commas and you will have this grid extra library now you see I want to see parallel chart of A1 and P1 that is ACF and PACF or is se hame bahut useful we can have very useful dialogue over it now you see what have what we have been talking here for last couple of days this is auto correlation function which decays geometrically very quickly after seven eight nine legs and here you see you have a significant spike at first leg plus minus two standard error these blue lines and one spike here at leg 10 11 12 if it's not uh, monthly data we can ignore and we assume it's by chance 1 out of 20 can be by chance outside this range so you have one spike here geometric decay here so what the model you will guess please think hmm 
So as per the table I have provided in my previous video, you see if this process decays geometrically and this process, uh, the PACF cuts off at leg 1, so it is process AR1. So we guess our model is here AR1. Let's estimate, you can calculate ACF and PACF exact values as well. At the moment I am going to skip, I will provide these codes, you can run these codes. So I am fitting model here A R I M A Y one that is my series order P D Q. So P is one D. We are not taking any difference, so it is zero, and we don't have moving average, so it is zero. And if you put these parentheses, just uh, if you want to store data here. So it will be stored in fit, but if you put here bracket and obviously one parenthesis here, so you will get results here. So you see, we have no AR1 is 0.72, its standard error is 0 0.06, so when we divide this coefficient by standard error, we, we see it's statistically significant. No, if you apply model uh, AR2 model, then you can compare AIC, AIC corrected, BIC criteria on the basis of which you can have model selection. No, why I have been using, uh, I am using this uh, FPP3 it's a type of thing. So you see, I am checking here what is my residuals of this fit. So look here, working here. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, if you look at this, these graphs, you have three things. One is residual plot. That is quite random. That is quite random. And you see ACF of these residuals, all autocorrelation functions are within this plus minus two standard errors. So it means your residuals are well behaved. This model seems fine. And you have uh, this one slightly different value, otherwise your uh, distribution is also well behaved of, for these residuals. So this model seems apparently a good one. If you select auto arima, means you ask this system R, EViews, Stata, some other software, that select this model for your uh, for you. Let's run this auto dot arima y1. It has also selected, it has selected, oh, that's, that's interesting. It has selected model AR1 MA1 and its AIC, BIC are 271.53 and 271.79. So, now you can compare which model is good one, which model is, uh, 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 both may be good, but which model is preferable. You can compare AIC, BIC values here. Let's again run this. So in this case you have 273 and in the previous case it was 271. So maybe AR MA11 model is the is better one anyhow. Let's we have seems Y2 data that is also provided by Walter Enders and uh, you see here we uh, select this one again we store autocorrelation function in A2, partial autocorrelation function in P2 and we have a grid here. In this case, you see, okay, we haven't given two columns, so therefore it is uh, uh, placing them side by side, n call equal to, though columns may, if you display, then it will be, you see here you have a geometric decay, and here you have two spikes outside, here you have two spikes outside, so what the model will guess? We have, uh, we have mentioned that if ACF decays geometrically and the number of spikes PACF has, that will be your order of AR. So here we will prefer AR2 model. But still you see in the previous Y1 we have fitted AR1 model, but AR MA11 was also a good competitor. So we don't know the exact model, we just, we, we just try to pick the approximate model. You can you can apply here some other model Y1 MA12 like this. So the, these are table 2.2 of Walter Enders chapter 2 applied econometric time series. What I am talking uh, at the moment. So if we put select Arturima model, 
so it has selected AR1 MA1 AR1 MA1 if we select AR2 MA1 or if we select AR2 what happens let's see we, we pick AR2 model D0 moving average is 0 so what happens and okay in this case your AIC is 274 but one more thing you see here 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.10 that makes AR2 non-significant it means AR2 is redundant here AR2 is no more needed so you need to re-estimate this model anyhow this is how we guess the model, then we estimate the model, then we check the residuals of that model and if everything is fine we say that is our model but there can be more than one candidate model for one data. Now another interesting thing that I'll, I'll, I'll uh, describe in next video that is simulation simulation uh, simulated autoregressive integrated moving average models as well as I shall explain unit root tests uh, thank you for watching take care may we